What is up, you guys? Are Dubby Gamer here, and back with another uh, SmackDown mode. We left. We are back where we left off, and uh, as you can see, we are getting ready for the Elimination Chamber match. These are the matches that uh, were simulated through: the AJ Lee versus Naomi. AJ Lee wins, and the Rob Van Dam versus Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods wins, and Undertaker versus CM Punk. Undertaker wins, and then I have my match in the main event, but I'm not gonna play that. So. Let's see the news of what's happened so far. Angel, um, Xavier Woods has turned his back on the WWE fans. Why Xavier Woods? Why? AJ Lee has successfully defended the WWE's championship. Alright. So we're going to play Tamina Snooker versus Shibi Bella. As usual, guys, uh, what happens is I will simulate on who I will play as uh, for the, whatchamacallit, uh, match. But for the Elimination Chamber, whoever's closest to Dolph Ziggler, if I land on Dol not Dolph Ziggler, if I land on uh, Damian Sandow or Chris Sachs, I'll play as those guys. Or whoever lands close to whoever uh, I'll play as. Sorry, yeah. And where is Brie Bella? Now, in the last episode, I was talking about how... Um, in SmackDown, how SmackDown most likely won't uh, be in uh, WGP 16 because I just don't feel like playing all those matches again. But then I thought to myself, instead of like actually playing the matches, why not? Uh, why don't I just wait? Crap. Yeah. Why don't I just do like I do in Universe mode and play? Like, let those matches play on by itself and just upload them. And I'll just, like, commentate through them more. Those would be, like, the videos I don't commentate through. Goes to the top rope. But that's up to you guys. So, yeah. But as well, if that if I did the smack mode, it smells like it goes to rob mode as well. So, I think we would just watch the whole peer review then. So, yeah. So it's Curtis Axel versus Damian Sandow versus B. Langston versus Corey Graves versus The Big Show versus Sheamus. I wonder who thought of this match. Alright. Quick. The only who we're going to play as and the winner is Damian Sandow. So now we have to wait until the end. Great. Comes the next person. Who's it gonna be? And Seamus is eliminated. Corey Grace comes in to fight in the 
take on the big show. So next is most likely going to be uh, Biggie. No, not Biggie Lynx. I think he's on the left side, uh, top corner. Curtis Axel, yeah. Make sure it's been dominating everyone so far. Curtis Axel's like, what? Okay, I'll just be here. He's like, nope, no I'm not. I'm just gonna fight you. Gotta weaken the big guy up. I already take on a weakened Curtis Axel, so. Bear hug. If he can make Corey Gersh Smith, he can still use his finisher and knock out um, Curse Axel. But Curse Axel stops it. Here comes Piggy Langston. Oh, Corey Gersh. Go for the. Unlucky 13. And he goes to the pen on Curtis Axel, champion. And he kicks out. Chokes on Biggie Langston. Big show chokes on Biggie Langston. He goes to the pen. And these guys are beasts. Alright, here we come. Legos Car Graves, and here I come. Let me at him. Get a boot inside this match. They want sand out. I'll just do it on Taunton. Oh, there goes the big show. Oh, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, he kicks out. Here, take on Chris Axel. I'll just stand out here. I'll do some heel moves. Thank you. Steals his pen. Gives Biggie Langston the DDT. Gives him the elbow to spin on the steel cage. I mean on the elimination chamber. Floor. Picks him up. And does his finishing move. Gives him the one, two, three. Pulling. Two, sorry. Here's your new champion, Damien Serendal. No one cares about you guys. Give me some David Serendal. Now, what if the commentators are there and like they got thrown through the cage? Man, they would never bring back the winning chair if that happened. Because one, it would either kill Michael Cole and uh, 
Jerry the King Lawler and JBL or whoever is at the commentating table nowadays, and then it will kill the crowd. It will kill like maybe some people in the crowd if they weren't stupid enough just to sit there going, "No, don't do it." Or they'll be really stupid, just run straightly forward as it falls down on them. Dirty Boo would never bring that thing back. Okay, and first we need to join. Join. Last time we played as I started them, and the winners of the team that we will play as is the champs. So yeah. Oh crap! So I guess they're all matching today. They don't have an Italian at this time though. What does that thing say? I think it said like solid horn or something. Come on, Cesaro, get up. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna punch you in the face. No, I'm poking you in the eyes. So he's like, I'm um, the best. He's like, Bret Hart wants to be me. Oh, crap. Oh, he must be doing the Davy Boy, Hart Smith kind of look. I think I get it. I kind of get it now. Like the British Bulldog or something. Yeah. It's always hard to make a good video nowadays because there's constantly things interrupting you. Especially little things like bugs roaming around your head like flies. Cesaro does not approve of mind games. He's going for the pen. One. That's it. Still your champions. Cesaro and Tyson Kid. Yeah. Forever your champions, Tyson Kid and Cesaro. Oh, crud. We have to make new rivalries. I totally just remember that. Ah. Well. I'm soaking the moment. All right, we mix it out. Read the news. 
Cesaro and Tyson Kidd successfully defended the Tag Team Championships in their Tag Team Champion rematch. Damian Sandow has won the Intercontinental Championship, and Brie Bell has won the Women's Championship. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.